Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for game two of this best Star 3 series that I took from the TL Open. It's an event organized by Team Liquid that has been going on for at least like four or five weeks now. And it's drawing a lot of attention, has a sweet prize money every week. And also the persons, the players, the pro gamers that will get the placement on the top spots on each weekly tournament will get an invite for the final tournament that is going to make all of these weekly tournaments converge into a single point. And and there's going to have a sweet prize money there that I'm pretty sure that all pro gamers would like to have. Um, this has been drawing a lot of attention, like I was mentioning, including from the Korean pros. And there's some of the Korean pro gaming teams that have been sending a lot of their players to participate on this online tournament. Team Slayers, Team Xenex, Team Prime, all of them been sending a bunch of their gamers to try and see if they get the top spots. Pretty impressive, also very positive, a sign that the community is starting to gather up and to mix a lot more than what we usually see back in the days of Brood War. And uh, on this specific matchup, we're gonna have a Europe versus South Korea battle with this green Protoss spawning on this top left position of Shakura's Plateau, being Grubby, the Dutch pro gamer, former Warcraft 3 superstar, and now on StarCraft 2. In my opinion, he's been struggling a little bit. He needs to show some results, but um, I think he's solid enough and disciplined enough. He's on the pro gaming scene for a long, long time, so he knows what he has to do. And he actually has a pretty interesting uh, chance here of showing the world, get a bit of visibility and show everyone that he has what it takes to face a Korean pro. Who is this light blue or teal Terran Xenex hack? Hack been doing pretty well lately. He got the all kill for his team on the GSTL that is currently going on in Korea. So respect for a hack, solid Terran. And if Grubby takes a win over him here, would be pretty cool and a sign that Grubby is doing well, is involving his game and also a sign, a tell to all the world that uh, do not underestimate Grubby, he has what it takes to win this. So uh, at the moment and throwing a couple of spoilers, as you guys know, we have Grubby losing 1-0. He got a big push knocking on his door to this natural expo really early on the game, backed up by Banshees and also by a Raven with a point defense drone, just brilliant there by Xenex Hack. He had this very menacing force and very menacing backup force uh, helping out the front line of Bio. And well, Grubby just couldn't resist it. And now we're gonna have, ooh, gas still here, refinery getting landed before Grubby was fast enough, had enough reflexes to land his own assimilator. So now he's stuck playing out of one gas with a refinery stuck here where he's supposed to have his second uh, assimilator landed. And this is gonna be annoying. I'm not sure exactly what was plan A from Grubby. What I do know is that he might be having to change that or delay it a little bit. At the moment we do have this gateway chrono boosting a stalker out so he needs some units to start shooting down this refinery and put it away so he can just benefit from the gas and evolve his play. Meanwhile on Xenex hack side as we can see interesting here really fast expand on the back inside the main base from hack we have one racks and the second one getting built so Quite an interesting decision making here and opening by Hack, going for fast expand and backing it up with a lot of bio and it seems like that he's gonna keep investing more and more on his barracks play. Two barracks getting built so we're gonna have a big bio play ensuing with this stalker trying to finish off the refinery that it is cancelled by Hack and at the same time killing a probe and advancing pushing with his marines towards this Zelnaga watchtower but doesn't seem like he's gonna go all the way he's just pulling back and gonna keep it on the defensive side he knows that he needs to keep this uh, expo defended and protected if he wants to benefit from the income obviously meanwhile Grubby trying to prepare some kind of defense some sort of defense and evolving his play style and his, uh, his plan for this game with the second assimilator finally getting finished and three gateway opening here so gateway into cybercore now three gates and we might be seeing something like a three gateway expand which is something that uh, we start to see as a staple for the protoss player that lcv i don't think you see much inside the main base from grubby i need to check the vision from xenex hack but there it is three gateway expand by grubby staple build at the moment for the uh, protoss players and that is if he saw what oh he didn't spot the amount of gateways okay was really close but well he didn't so good for grubby i guess but at the same time on hack side we already have two bases rolling on the economy this is going to start showing as you can see there's already mules landing 
and also worker count we do have grubby leading by four but the mules will balance that and at the same time we noticed that grubby was trying to advance there try to push up that ramp but there's plenty of defenses here and with this bunker loaded with marines and marauders it's going to be hard to only these three units to be able to just break in and start wreaking havoc onto xenex hack spaces for now we have grubby getting a pylon proxy pylon on the south position probably preparing to warp in some units later on and we have a robotics facility getting built inside grubby's base there it is robotics and the forge so working probably to get an observer to check out his opponent and maybe some upgrades would be the next step for his uh, ground units but i do see that on hack side i keep following on that production tab because there's a lot going on and hack is going also for a very interesting and very well hidden on this corner ghost academy Ooh, interesting he's taking care of his upgrades he's playing out of four racks at the moment no three yes three racks he lifted this one one of them with a reactor the other two with tech labs working on his upgrades all the way three racks play plenty of bio being masked here on the front of the natural extra from hack and feels a bit like he's going to prepare to go for a solid push again on the early stages of the game basically like he did on game one and that forced uh, grubby to tap out but this time he's mixing it with ghosts i don't know if you guys remember on game one he mixed it with a raven with that brilliant point defense drone and some banshees was very good very effective and threw a big killing blow onto grubby's plans but now seems like he's going to mix it with ghosts and well the EMP is also very solid, brilliant, but I'm not sure what the effect is going to be because the ghosts are quite fragile as well, they're going to have to be well protected. What I can see for now is that um, there's no ghosts here and uh, the units from uh, Xenex Hack at the moment are two ghosts, 14 marines and five marauders against five stalkers, two, uh, I'm sorry, two stalkers, five zealots and five sentries. He has enough to at least start dwelling off this ramp, but it won't last long. He doesn't have enough sentries. The sentries won't have enough energy. And whoa, he's been working a lot on his worker production, on his probe count. Let's take a look. Actually, it's tied 43-43. The income quite similar, just the mules probably tipping it a bit on the favor of Xenex Hack. But we have a lot of units getting prepared here. Oh, massive EMP there. Force fields getting landed. Awesome EMP. As you guys could see, the ghosts were very well used. And now we have a big chunk of the forces from Xenex Hack advancing into this natural expo from Grubby, shooting down as much as possible. And now the second line of, the, of assault from Xenex Hack try to advance through the force fields but no the force field play has been containing the push that xanax hack is attempting but there's not much left of the forces from grubby and here he comes the wave there's not enough force fields to keep containing the forces and now we're gonna have grubby just pulling all of his probes try to defend using them and ca as cannon fodder to buy some time to get some units out but no chance again too strong of a push by Xenex Hack, just wreaking havoc onto the forces of Grubby once more. And Grubby almost finished his armor level 1, but I mean, he didn't have enough, just simple as that. He even had the Twilight Council already, but I mean, he didn't even use it. So, quite painful to watch, but so effective on Hack side. I mean, that ghost play was brilliant, he had the big EMP on top of the bulk of the forces from Grubby. And from then on, only the... Um, only the sentries could hold the aggression and they actually did for at least a couple of waves of offense that hack was throwing at grubby but he got to a point where they didn't have more energy and as you can see there wasn't much left for grubby to use as defense he just threw all these probes was trying to warp in some zealots but can't even compare it with the forces from um from hack i mean eight marines eight marauders two zealots one stalker one sentry just not enough he had an observer but i mean the observer didn't have much use there it is positioned and uh, this uh, nice opening here by xanax hack i think that some terran players might take some lessons from this it was an interesting opening quite solid notice that he was preparing some kind of transition or mix if this first push didn't work he already had factory and starport with that reactor attached so he would be um, you would be preparing for some kind of transition later on but that uh, wasn't needed I mean his first blow on Grubby was enough to put him down and well what can I say I mean Grubby disappointed me a little bit there but uh, I guess he needs to focus more and work more on his builds because um, it wasn't enough just crushing blow by Xenex Hack congrats to him winning this series 2-0 and I'm gonna take a look at other um, series from the TL Open I hope you guys enjoyed this one see you later have fun